Front brake pads are approximately 40% worn. Now your front tyres are going to start off here at the near side front, which is 5mm. And that is all the way across. Nothing's put on the near side front suspension or the offside front suspension. Offside front tyre, again 5mm. And that is all the way across. There is no visible leaks or damage to the underside of the vehicle. Offside rear tyre, again 5mm. And that is all the way across. Nothing's put on the offside rear suspension or the near side rear suspension. Near side rear tire and 5mm. And that is all the way across. Just moving on to the outside edge of the tire. There is a nail in the outside edge. Rear brake pads approximately 30% worn. Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. And I'm going to go through my major service for my VW Golf R. Just to help you out. I've kind of documented it on my channel in the past. So I figured I'd do it because I've just, yeah, I've just finished a major service. So go through the costs, go through the experience, how I found it. And yeah, hopefully help you lot out. So yes, let's get straight into this. So this is my 2017 Golf R. This is fourth service that I've done with the car. So four years old now, and this was a major service. So that involved basically oil filter, air filter, spark plugs, um, yeah, pollen filter, all the kind of the basics for a major service getting done. Um, it hasn't had its sparks done before, so I wanted to kind of get that done. That was the main part, um, and all done. <laughs> Total price for me from a main VW dealer in St Albans, uh, Marshalls, Volkswagen, I believe, was £404. Um, so it's pretty expensive, not going to lie, but and you kind of get thrown on the R tax, like an extra 50 quid, which is kind of what it's all about. They send you like a nice little video. They send you like a health check of the car. And they go through all of that and it was all good so i can't really complain and yeah on that front all good um i then asked the service advisor and i was like you know is there any issues with it and he said no no it's fine so i took it away came here checked through the report <laughs> and it said the rear left has a nail on the outside edge which is not good so everything else is fine brakes are fine tire um tread is fine everything's good um i had a brake fluid change a couple of months ago so i know that's all good so on that side it's fine i'll put a picture of where the nail is on the outside edge really gutted about that rear left um but it is a rear so the rears tend to not wear as hard so i don't think i'm gonna have to replace both i think i'll just replace the one um it is on the outside edge so i don't think that's repairable if it was bang in the middle i'd probably get it repaired um but yeah on the outside edge that's too kind of dangerous i'm really surprised the service advisor hasn't said you know you've got a major issue because to be honest a nail on the outside edge i wouldn't want to be driving at like 70 miles now on the motorway with that in um they didn't even offer me to get it repaired with them or you know replaced with them so yeah okay um that's a bit of whatever they want to do <laughs> um so that's fine and it also says service due 28th of the 4th 2022 which isn't right because that's not 12 months away um yeah so that's all done it's got its mot coming up in a couple of months as well so i've got to sort out the tire for the car um as for the actual experience there i work in it so i work from home basically i can work um, anywhere um so whilst it was getting done um yeah i just sit and work on my laptop so it's, it's all fine it doesn't take any time out it's a really nice um, showroom actually and just nice and chilled out i don't necessarily mind paying a little bit more if i can just you know kind of crack on and work and get on with what i do um the video and stuff like that is really really useful as well and i kind of show that as well while i'm kind of talking um so that was that was all positive um i didn't ask them to wash the car because i kind of clean it myself um yeah so that's that's all kind of left in i've got another like i suppose record for um the service which is good um yeah so that that's all fine a bit of a downside on the tire um but at least they kind of spotted it um i will probably have a little hunt around today to see if i can either get it repaired or replaced um i think it's a replace one to be honest i can't see the outside edge working so that's the only negative of it um they did try to sell me an aircon regas for about 160 pounds and which i said no um the aircon is fine so that's good um i wouldn't pay that sort of money for a regas anyway um so that's quite expensive so yeah you've got to know your stuff and i know main dealers and i've never really you know if you follow my channel for the last sort of four years you'll know that that's kind of an area which I probably not like the most like a service uh, just because I you know I like talking to you guys you know I like speaking to real owners and going through that and you know it shivers down my spine in terms of like if you buy a car from there and stuff like that because they've just got you you know 
around the neck really um but yeah i, I can't complain because it's got done this car's actually got a full vw service history so that's i guess quite good not that i'm looking to sell it to be honest with you i just i love it um it's such a great car it, it just hasn't let me down um hopefully it's all kind of topped up now in terms of its major service so hopefully no you know big bills to come kind of thing you know i'll probably do an oil and filter next year and that will kind of see it through um yeah pr pretty pretty good to be fair and you know volkswagens are pretty i don't know you see kind of issues online sometimes with certain things i've never really had any problems with the car and you, I've, that's why i've kind of shown it with you lot um it's been all it's all been all sorted um got to sort out the tire but other than that you know no problems I'm, I'm happy i'm happy with the service it took about i dropped it off about nine o'clock and i sort of worked there for about two hours and yeah, about two hours 20 minutes um so which is about right spark plugs and the labor costs are quite high i checked on the forums to see if i was getting kind of like a good price and for vw labor and all the just to get get the spark plugs done it was around about the right price about 150 pounds for that kind of side of things which yeah I'm glad I checked because I kind of wanted to know and I checked other places as well and they're all quoting quite high so I was just like let's just get this done let's get it over with and I'm happy it's done um a little bit disappointed about the tyre but it is what it is it can happen with any car I'll have to get it sorted and have to get it fixed a little bit surprised they didn't tell me about it as again I think it's quite a dangerous thing um yeah that's really it there's not really more, much more else to say let me know your thoughts in the comments if you want to know any more details um yeah the car is in really good condition actually i'm just i always try and look after it as best as i can um and that's kind of what i do um yeah five millimeter tread all the way around brakes 40 percent worn i'm clearly not driving this hard enough it's a 33,000 mile car um yeah decline the air con regas and then that was it but life goes on enjoy the car that's the main part of it um it still puts a smile on my face would i look to sell it <laughs> at any point to replace it to another car well considering there's a mark 7.5 gti um i think it must be quite a new one like a 19 plate up at their dealership i'm looking at it because it's just over there for 29,000 pounds um i think i will be sticking put even though my car's gone up in value you know, it's just gonna cost me an arm and a leg to get another car during this crazy period with the chip, ish, chip supply issues, um, parts issues as well with obviously COVID problems. So I'm quite happy to just get bits done and get the car kind of up and running. Um, a few cool things to come on the channel as well. I've got a few things hopefully booked in, one with a Club Sport S and owner, um, hopefully do a Q and A with them um, next month and a first drive for me, a fantastic car. That should be really cool. Um, potentially in the Golf 8R again with another owner and maybe a Q and A if they're up for it as well plus another car on the channel and in two weeks time i've got a track day in a porsche gt3 rs a mclaren um, like an aerial atom and i think a nissan gtr and that's all got like 360 in car camera so i'll kind of share that with you a lot um so yeah lots of stuff to come um hope you've been enjoying the content um and yeah like share subscribe and you'll, you'll get to see more basically but um yeah this is my major service i've kind of always documented on the channel each year so check back on previous videos to see how i kind of found it certainly not a negative experience i liked it bit surprised they didn't tell me like more immediately about the nail in the tire you know some people can brush over documents they can brush over videos as well so i could be driving around with a nail in the thing and the service advisor hasn't told me so a little bit of a weird one there um but yeah that's just the experience i had and that's why i like to be quite transparent and open with you lot um you know i'm not affiliated although i've done a lot of vw content i have no sort of relation i, I pay my full whack for everything um you know i like to work with you lot to be fair with if i get cars on the channel and that's what i enjoy the most but let me know you think let me know your thoughts do you think i got ripped off i mean part of me always thinks i do when i go to a dealership and get a service it's just yeah i don't i, don't, I generally don't like it and don't enjoy it a few people have said change the stuff yourself that's just not for me um you know changing brakes and stuff like that and pads it's just like for me it's such an important part of the car i'd rather leave it to a professional to do even if i could save a little bit of money doing myself and with the whole electric way you know i'm not even going to have an engine in 10 years in a lot of cars and the way things work you know it's just going to be less hands off um what else did i hear i heard a couple of recalls they were talking about just as general vw sort of stuff staff were saying to other people um yeah and that was really it but let me know your thoughts in the comments I'll let you know how I get on with the tyre, just in maybe just like a quick little video, and a quick little update. Hopefully, 
well, yeah, it's just going to be another, what, £100 or something like that to get a PS4 tyre on there. Um, I don't think that's repairable, and I wouldn't really want to repair the outside edge. But we will see. But listen, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Plenty more content to come. Give it a like, share, subscribe. That's all you have to do to kind of help support it. And, um, yeah, thoughts always in the comments. Cheers, guys. <laughs> so a little update from me. This was the culprit here. I don't know if you can just about see that on camera. But... It's a very, very small nail. I took it to a place in um, St Albans, sort of like a local place I went before to repair a tyre for my Fiesta ST many years ago. And um, they were great. They were so, so nice, so, so helpful. And I was certain it was going to be repairable. Um, it was irreparable. They said the same. And I was sort of like, if it's 50-50, just replace the tyre. Um, and then he said, well, is there, is there any pressure going down? And I was like, no, there's not, nothing happening. It must have just happened quite recently. And they were able to pull the nail out, spray it, and it hadn't actually penetrated through to the tire. So it obviously just gone through to the rubber section, and that was it. So fingers crossed, the tire doesn't deflate or anything. So I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep it steady. Um, but yeah, didn't charge me anything. Really, really nice people. Um, a good happy ending because he was the same to me. He was like, once they see the nail, they don't want to touch it because it's all sort of liability and stuff like that or something. So I told him that they offered me air con regas rather than telling me that I had a nail in my tyre, um, which was a little bit weird. Um, anyway, they're great. I'll leave their links in the description as well. Check them out. Say that I sent you if you do go there and um, yeah, you never know. Um, yeah, a little bit more faith restored in uh, sort of like the servicing world. Um, but yeah, job done. I'll keep you updated if there's any issues, but yeah, just wanted to share that little update. Now that it's all done. Cheers, guys.